so what we have done till now is we have created a network having 100 nodes and on this network we have created edges based on homophily that is the uh, what we can say is strong ties next we want to look at we have created a function which adds one when we call this function once we get one long range link in this network now what we want to do is we want to see as we add more and more number of long range ties in this network how does the diameter of this network reduces and that is easy what we want is on the x axis we want the number of uh, links number of long range links which have been added to the network and on the y axis we want to plot the diameter of the network and please note since we are only adding the edges and initially this network is connected so this network is always going to be connected and hence the diameter will be a positive number which is not infinity okay so what i am going to do now is we need two axis uh, two let's say two lists one for the x axis and another for the y axis so this is the list for the x axis and we know that the first value for x axis will be zero x axis shows us the number of long range links added so when x is 0 that is when there is no long range link added in the network we know that at that time what is the diameter of my network. So I am going to comment this over here we have added no long range tie as of now and here the value which will be appended to the y axis is nothing but the diameter of the network. So this is a function which tells me the diameter of the graph g. So we got one one value for x and y. And now we start from time equals to 0 and at every time step I am going to add one long range link to this network and let's say we repeat this process for 100 times. So when t is less than 100, less than or equals to 100, so for 100 time steps I am going to do this process. What I am going to do is I am going to add one long link in this network. And as soon as I add one long link in this network, what I am going to do is, I am going to increment t by 1 and then I am going to append t to y, uh, sorry t to the list x which means that one, uh, which means, which shows me how many long range links have been added. So at this time when t is 1, one long range tie has been added here. And simply we know what has to be appended to the y axis is nothing but an x dot diameter of g. An x dot diameter of g. So we get here x axis and y axis and we can simply plot them. So let me set the label. So plt dot x label is nothing but what we are having on x axis is the number of weak ties added and what we are having on y axis is the diameter of the network and then we are simply going to plot plt dot plot x and y and then plt dot show okay let's execute it and see Okay, so you can see here what is happening. The initially, you know, the diameter of this network was 25. We know it's going to be 25 because there are 100 nodes and every node is connected to two nodes towards the left and two nodes towards the right. So we can make a jump of uh, two in, uh, we can make a jump of two hops in one go. So in 25 jumps, we can reach from one end of the network to another. And you see that just on the addition of one low, uh, just on the addition of one or two weak ties, the diameter drastically reduced to 18. And then, uh, and we can see that as we add more and more long range ties, the diameter reduces drastically. It's not something linear. It reduces very quickly, right? And then the diameter of the network finally reaches some 4 or 3 when we have added some 80 weak ties. So this is how the curve which we wanted to look at looks like.